ਤੁਝ ਕੀ ਹਾ ਕੁਰਚ ਵਾਰ ਕੀ ਕਉ ਹੈ ਰਬ ਕੋਰੋ ਵਈ ਹੁਕ ਆਤਿਆ ਰਾਦਾ ਪਕੀ ਰੇ ਹੁਆ ਕੇ ਪਕਾਈ ਅਨੋ ਖਾ ਅਵਤਿਰੀ ਓਥੇ ਨੈ ਉਨੇ ਕੁਰਾਏ ਨਾਤਾ ਕੋਤਾ ਤੁਰੋ ਤਾਨ ਕੋਤਾ ਮਾਰਮਾ ਨਾਤ ਕੋਰੇ ਤਾਨ ਕੋਤਾ ਕੋਰੇ ਤੇ ਫੀਫੀ ਤਾਨ ਕੋਤਾ ਕੋਰੇ ਤੇ ਮਾਤੂ ਤਾਨ ਕੋਤਾ ਕੋਰੇ ਤੇ ਕੇਰੀ ਕੇਰੀ ਤਾਨ ਕੋਤਾ ਕੋਰੇ ਤੇ ਤਾਉ ਮਾਵਾ ਤਾਨ ਕੋ ਮਾਕੂ ਕਾਮੋਇਆ ਮਾਹੋਰਾ ਨੂਆ ਤੇ ਕੋਤਾ ਰਾਕੀ ਕਾਮੋਇਆ ਪੋਹਾਰੋ ਤੇ ਪੋ ਕੋ ਆ ਰਾਕੀ ਮੇ ਰਾਖਾ ਮਾਮਾ ਤਾਨ ਰਾ ਤਾ ਫੀਰੀ ਆ ਮਾਤਾ ਕੋ ਤੂ ਤੇ ਰਾਕੀ ਫਾਨੋ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਕਿਤ ਮਹਾਨ ਵੀ ਕਿ ਮਾਵੀ ਕੋ ਤਾ ਤਖਤ ਤੀ ਹੈ ਮੋਰਿਓਰਾ ਇਨ ਦ ਬਿਗਿਨਿੰਗ देयर वाज ਨਥਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਦ ਮਦਰ ਆਫ ਮੋਇਸਚਰ ਮਾਕੂ ਸਲੈਪਟ ਵਿਦ ਮਾਹੋਰਾ ਨੂਇਆਤਾ ਦ ਫਾਰ ਸਪ੍ਰੈਡ ਆਊਟ ਹੋਰਾਈਜ਼ਨ ਦ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਵਾਸ ਰਕੀ ਦ ਸਕਾਈ ਫਾਦਰ the great parent rocky slept with poor haro the poor and their first born child was a son auraki as auraki grew he yearned to voyage across the great oceans of emptiness and with his brothers and his friends He set out in his canoe to walk o Araki the canoe of the gods and voyaged for many days After a time they yearned to return to the founding parents and to their family and as they turned the great waka it became stranded on an undersea reef and was wrecked Araki and his brothers climbed to the high side of the wreck and after a great time they were turned into stone and the shattered prow with all the broken carvings lay at the northern end of the wreck to Toihu Otawaka and the great carved stone post stood out of the sea at the far southern end Komotu Pohue After a time came Tutaraki Fano the Mokopuna the grandson of Araki seeking to find what had happened to his power and his relations he came upon the great wreck of the Waka o Araki and stood there gazing up at the bodies of those he had loved and he cried and he cried and he cried And when his tears stopped flowing he set about the great work of reshaping the Waho Araki the great wreckage of the canoe to make it into a place fit for people when people were to come in their time with his toki he carved out the great fields he built peninsulas he fashioned valleys He made great open plains and he made small places. With his fellow Atua and assistant Kahukura, he clothed the land in forest, in plants, and all things that grow and move there. And with his other colleague Morukura, he made the coast and the waters abundant with fish. and with all the life that makes this place so rich it was they tutaraki fano and his colleagues kahukura and marukura who made this place so beautiful so good for people ko te wai ponamu ko araki te tihi Some places are even more special than others. These are the places we call Topuni. Topuni is the name 
of one of the great chiefly cloaks, a symbol of protection, a symbol of leadership, a symbol of heritage. So we call these very special places Topuni. Topuni is warm, Topuni is sheltered. What it means is that when we are caring for these places, we are caring for these mountains, we are caring for this coastline, we are caring for the Make to Waiponamu. The Naitahu people, the people of this land, have to be consulted and have to participate in the whole business of planning and arranging and managing the care of these places. In this sense, Tōpuni, the chiefly cloak, still protects the land, still protects the coast, with the symbol of an ancient heritage, right down into our modern times. Mehe mea au, ka tuahuai e tahi mauka, me mauka te If I am to bow my head to a mountain, let it be to the loftiest mountain. Oki wai rua mai e ngā mātua tūpuna hei pāriki tia te kaupapa e. Oki wai rua mai rā, 